What's going on guys? Just finished shooting our first video discussing sprockets and gearing as well as chain setup and tire size and how that affects your goat head scooter. In this video here we're going to be getting more into the mathematical side of things, talking ratios and gearing options and discussing how changing from a 6 tooth to a 7 tooth will affect not only your top speed of your goat head scooter but your RPMs and how that works as well as changing from a 76 tooth to a 68. That and a whole lot more coming up today. But first, if you guys have not watched the first video on sprockets and gearing, as well as chain setup and tire size, go ahead and watch that video first. It's gonna help make this video make a lot more sense. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. You guys can go ahead and check that one out. All right, so guys, so here we have our ADA racing calculator pulled up. We've got our input for our sprocket size, our tire diameter, as well as our RPMs or miles per hour. What we're gonna be basing everything off of today is gonna be a stock GoPed GSR 46. And so on, this is actually most GoPeds in general, but they're gonna come with a 76 tooth for the rear, a 6 tooth for the front, as well as a 10 inch tire diameter. Now this is the stock tire size, not your slicks, so keep that in mind. The slicks are 11, if you guys watched the last video. Anyways, put our RPMs here. This might be a little bit on the high side, but we're gonna say 15,000 RPMs go ahead and submit that and see what we come up with here. So we've got all our information we just inputted there and here at the very bottom it shows us your speed of 35.23 miles per hour and that is optimal ideal conditions where you're getting the max 15,000 RPMs. If you look down below that here it says your gear ratio. Now what this gear ratio is is 12.67 to 1 and what that means to you guys is for every one time your wheel goes around that little six tooth goes around 12.67 times. So I get a lot of questions, hey, how can I make my go pit faster? And I'm gonna show you how just changing a little $15 sprocket is gonna make a big difference on how much your top speed is. So we're gonna leave everything the same except changing our front sprocket to a seven tooth and see what we come up with. Our rear sprocket is 76 just like before. We are now changing the front sprocket to a seven our tire diameter is still going to be a 10 and keep in mind here the 15,000 is a little bit on the high side but keep this in mind is every time you go up a tooth and make your go pit faster or more top speed that is you're going to be affecting your overall RPMs so this is optimal ideal conditions again but the more you gear it up the more wind drag you're going to have against you thus resulting in a little less miles per hour but keep with this low gearing like this it's not going to affect it too much so let's go ahead and submit that and see what we come up with. So if you look here now, we've jumped all the way from 35 miles an hour to 41, a six mile per hour game. And this by changing that one little $15 sprocket from a six tooth to a seven tooth. So that's a pretty good gain. Now keep in mind your acceleration off the line is not gonna be as fast when you do that, but it's still gonna be pretty quick. Um, lastly here, says your gear ratio, 10.86 to 1. Again, that's 10.86 revolutions of that 7 tooth for every one time your wheel goes around. So keep that in mind. I hope this helped you guys out. We're going to be going a little more in depth here in just a second, but this is just a quick overview on that. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. All right, guys, we just covered talking the little pinion sprocket on here. Now we're going to be bumping it up and changing and adjusting the big rear sprocket, which is the one that's attached to your wheel. So we're going to go ahead and put our stock gearing size in here again. Now this is all going to be based off a stock GSR 46. We've got our 10 inch tires. Our RPMs are 15,000. Go ahead and submit that. Again, that 15,000 is a tad bit on the high side, but you'd probably be pretty close. So here we go, our same stock breakdown. We have our 35.23 miles per hour. Let's go ahead and input, go into a 68 in the rear, leaving the front sprocket a six, putting our 10 inch tire diameter in there, and keeping with the 15,000 RPMs and show you how that's going to affect your overall top speed now. So if you look here, it's almost identical. We are now at 39.38 instead of 41. So that affected it just a tad. So by changing that rear sprocket from a 76 all the way down to a 68, which happens to be eight teeth, that puts you down here to 39.38 miles per hour. And now your gear ratio is 11.33 to one. So for every 11.33 times that little six tooth goes around, your tire will go around one time. So that's how that works right there. Next up, we're gonna be covering how adjusting 
the big sprocket and little sprocket affects your top speed whether you go up or down. So that is coming up next. So lastly today we're going to be discussing the sprockets and how they're going to affect your overall top speed of your go fetch scooter or hurt your overall top speed. So starting here with the six tooth pinion, each time you get bigger and bigger and bigger to a 7, to an 8, to a 9, to a 10, you're going to be gaining top speed but losing acceleration. So keep that in mind. Over here with the big sprockets that are attached to your wheel, it's kind of backwards with those because the smaller you get, the more top speed you're going to have and the bigger you get, the more acceleration you're going to have. So keep that in mind. Lastly here, I get a question all the time are, what is a good all around gearing for my GoPed scooter? So a good all around gearing that I personally would recommend would be 76 on the rear and an 8 tooth on the front. You know, maybe a 7 tooth, but typically an 8 tooth is ideal for me personally. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you can check me out on Facebook. It's GoPed Derek Short, and I'll be happy to answer any of you guys' questions. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and thank you very much.